some helpful hints to think about while presenting. First, look at what you're writing. If I'm going to be writing something on the board, don't be afraid to look at it. If I'm not looking at it, look at what I'm talking about. So look up at what's in your PowerPoint or what you've already drawn, uh, if you've drawn something on the screen. If not, look at the camera. Be careful of looking too far above or below the camera. It looks a little odd in the video. Know where your camera is sitting and trying to look into the lens itself. Leave yourself some room. Uh, don't try to fill this entire board. It's eventually I'm going to get crowded out and it looks very bad to present from behind your information, whether it's the stuff you've drawn or uh, the stuff that's already from PowerPoint. Point from the side. Point here like this. Don't point like this. I don't want to point to test this way. I'd want to point from one side or the other. Probably this would be more natural. So try not to point from behind something. These are very sensitive to squeaks, so some you can force it to squeak. Also, don't write over your face. Don't be afraid of erasing small things, but those squeaks can be very annoying in the presentation. Also, if you hit the board, uh, it's a giant drum head, so I can touch the board and not have it vibrate, but hitting it hard to make a point, which we get into our presentation we really want to do, um, be careful, that's going to show up on the audio track. Pause before um, you start. So if I'm either making a mistake, oh, I didn't mean to say that, pause, go to a natural relaxed position, look into the camera, and then start the presentation again. You can cut the bad section out. At the beginning of the semester, you'll notice a lot, or beginning of the presentation, you'll notice a lot of times I'll be standing in one place I might have done a bunch of things before, but this gives me a clean edit place. Strive for good enough. Don't try to make these perfect. Going back and driving yourself crazy, editing out little mistakes cost a lot of time. The students would rather have the information in a timely manner than they are worried about little mistakes like that. If this is something you're going to use over a longer term, you can use a little bit more or spend a little bit more time editing it. But typically, students are, are willing to overlook those type things. Remember, leave room at the bottom for closed captions. If I write a lot of content down here, when my closed captions run, uh, those can be over depending on uh, what platform you're running those closed captions in, YouTube versus Kaltura or something like that. Do a practice run. Make sure the recording is working. Make sure you understand how to turn the recording function on. Nothing as annoying as to do a great presentation, take out the thumb drive, and find you've recorded nothing.